Martin says the hammer builds stagger a lot faster. You mean the Erdtree Avatar's weapon, the big slamming thing? Martin says you probably won't get any more new weapons for my build anytime soon. So basically with all these weapons, I could start to dabble. See, what I'm thinking is, out of, for, for the weapons that I have, the two that I probably would want to mess with right now would be the Staff of the Avatar, but I also like this spear. Phil didn't pick up the Sombring Smithing Stone 9 outside of the tower where he got the sword. There's a somber smithing stone nine outside of what tower? I don't know what you're talking about. I guess I missed one. Sadmus Aaron says, I think the spear would be way more unique. The divine tower in Kaelid? Where? There's a path leading down to on the right side of the hill and it's a nine. The right side of the hill, like right there? I never went down here. Holy shit, I didn't go down here. You're absolutely right. All right, guys, what do you think? What do you think? I want, I do want to level something up, but I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to do the Silurius tree spear? Do I want to do the staff of the avatar? Sadmus says, the spear is more diverse based on what you been using in my opinion the staff would probably be better i'm not gonna lie wolf's paradox is the spear's cooler the spear only weighs 10 the staff weighs 20 you're absolutely right just off of that i'm gonna build the spear up guys starzyak says i think you should store away some weapons you're not using with your current build Fair enough point. Swagin says you have a, a weapon called the Nox Flowing Hammer. Check it out. How odd the moveset is. It makes a very unsettling noise. Come here. You missed. Level 7. Ah, oh, it misses a lot. You stupid invisible fuck. Ow, that range! Anything on here? I guess so. I guess there's a reason. I see an item right there. I gotta investigate this stuff. You can ride up this one. Oh, you piece of shit! Ah! He made my horse slip. That's incredibly annoying. Why didn't I attack? I was pressing R2. It's it's d so delayed over there. I'm trying to find where my my souls are. Right here. Yeah, I guess I got this far and then I fell. Where did I? I can't I can't even find him. I don't know. I have no idea if I'm going the right way or which one is this for? Any of them? Would I want to duplicate any of them? I don't even know if I would want to. Maybe maybe Radon, because I want to do his swords. Because currently, can't you only get one sword? So if you want Radon's dual swords, don't you have to duplicate his soul? Oh, really? His swords are dual wielded even if you only have one. I don't want to spoil. You can lock yourself out of content and items if you say the wrong thing to Fia in this area. Choose I came to be held when Fia asks. Otherwise, you're locked out of the rest of her quest line. If anyone could confirm that, please do. Obviously, I don't want to be locked out of critical points in the game. And I would appreciate it if that is the case. If that's what I need to do. If someone can confirm. It's true. Okay. Smithing Stone 6. What's the highest level? Is it 10? Somber Smithing Stones go up to plus 10. Regular Smithing Stones go up to 25. Oh my god. I can't hit this fucking guy. I'm right there and I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> Swiping and missing. Okay, here's where I die. I, they hit me with some bullshit and I fell off. I want this item here. Oh, come on. I almost fell again. Dude, this is bad. It's very, very wonky right here. I don't like this. Seriously, like, I can't I can't turn my horse here and just walk up. Walk slowly. Slowly. I just realized these are the same guys we fought, the Black Lake Kindreds, but they fucking don't have any arms. <laughs> They have no arms at all of any type. That's pretty disturbing. Na a nascent butterfly, complete waste. Fia's champion? My life. I You weren't much of a champion. Stop casting the spell because I want to use my ability, but he keeps casting the spell and I can't. It's 
fucking spell is super annoying. Stop casting that spell. You did it again. You fuck here. Stop, dude. He's spamming it now. Stop spamming the fucking spell, you piece of shit. That bad though. That's a god's face. I just noticed it's a face that's crooked. It looks like Godwin. Remember Godwin's face that we saw in the basement of Stormvale Castle? So this is a dead god. You know what this is? This is another dead god and it's fused into the root of the tree. This is the real Godwin. So then what did we see in the basement of Stormvale Castle? That wasn't Godwin. So wait, am I being told if I keep resting here, there's a secret boss apparently. Keep exhausting Fia's dialogue and resting. When she goes to sleep, you can rest next to her. You finish the quest line. Talk to Fia. How do I do that? But I seem to be at a loss for words now. Bye. Oh. I didn't even see her. Under Stormvale, that Godwin was purchased off a wish? What the fuck does that mean? Martin says, that's Godwin's body. It's really alive. Only his soul got killed. To truly die, you both need to perish. Similar to how Ronnie's body's dead, but she's alive. Sophia is trying to resurrect him. So now there's yet another optional ending I can choose in the end, says Jack G. So I have a bunch of endings I can get now. Martin says, you can save the Radiant version. It doesn't debuff you, only the normal one. So I should just use the normal one now and get this fucking health bullshit out of here, right? Now I can get my health back. It didn't work. Take your rest. It didn't work. I take your rest. I put my head on my pillow and my hands on my chest. Okay. Anything else? What now? Anything? This is goodbye, my dear. Ah. Oh. Ow. Are you gonna hit me? Yes. What, what am I fighting exactly? Why am I fighting with the sand? Uh, this is constant lightning. I can't tell. I can't actually see what's happening at all. There's insane amounts of effects on the screen, and I it's kind of like fucking with me. I can't even tell. I, I can't see what's happening. <laughs> I mean, I can hit him, but man, I have no idea what to do about the lightning that hits the entire ground under him. You can't see. my horse? Can you use your horse in this fight? Nope. Uh... No. No horse. The problem is I can't really lock on to her, uh, to get him consistent. See that? I'm not gonna win this time. Close though. That's shocking. I'm close. I got stuck on a stupid tree branch. I'm doing tons of damage. That's the advantage here. I'm doing ridiculous damage to him with this weapon. So I feel like if I just maybe I'll up my vials all the way. I don't. I actually don't need a magic regen on this fight. I can't move. I get, I'm getting like stun locked. Yeah, see? He's stun locking me with lightning, and I can't move after it, and then he gets a combo of like two, three hits, and I can't do anything about that. People are saying at least it's not another copy paste dragon, but at the same time, it is. Like, look at it. It is the same dragon, just with four, four wings instead of two. He looks the same. He just, they, they put a different effect on him. If you could see the lightning, you could dodge it, but you can't see it because the fucking camera, yet again, there's no way to zoom out on the camera in this game. So because of that, his lightning is pretty much undodgeable unless you know the pattern, which I don't. If I knew the pattern, I'd be like, oh, jump over it, jump over it. But, I, you know, I don't know the pattern, 
and uh, the camera sucks. Can't see what I'm doing. I can't. I, how am I supposed to avoid what I can't see? Right? I can't see it. Oh shit! I'm sorry. How did that miss? Yeah, you missed the giant dragon standing directly in front of you. Of course you did. I can't even tell what's happening. There's too many effects on this. Thing. I really have no idea. I rolled and still got hit. I mean, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't see. Without being able to see the attacks, you'll never dodge them or, or do anything about them. I can't see them. I'm alternating the feet and it's working. Okay, I think I know what to do against it. I need to just go heavy, jumping heavy back and forth between the two feet. There's no way to dodge that. You can't see it. How am I gonna? How can I dodge when it's not visible? What you're seeing is happening is there's a red lightning buildup on my body, and that seems to be an indicator that a lightning is gonna hit me. So if I keep moving back and forth, it doesn't seem to hit. So if I just keep going back and forth between the two, I think I'll be all right. Can't see. Like, what else are you supposed to do? Nothing. I can't see the fight, so I'm not going to be able to do anything but just dodge randomly through some stuff and do jump heavy attacks. That's, that's the whole track. Can't see anything else. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. The whole fight. The, again, the only thing that's hard with this game is the camera. I'm serious. The fucking camera is shit. I can't see anything. There's just things going on all around me, and you can't see any of them because of the way that they developed the camera for this series. I yeah, couldn't see the lightning. I knew it was coming, but there was no way to see it, so there's no way to avoid it. So if the camera would just go zoom back so you could see, you could dodge everything. I'd be able to see the lightning coming at me and roll right through it, but I can't see any of it. So it's just, oh well, I'll just roll randomly, and sometimes I'll roll through it. Sure. How did I miss the giant dragon in front of me now? It doesn't make any sense. He's standing right in front of me and is just passed through, passed through, passed through the leg. I doubt I'm going to beat him before the break at this rate. This stupid fucking camera. It's annoying I have to see this animation every time. Oh, that's fair. I love it. I can't hit him. He's right in front of me. A ginormous fucking dragon is standing in front of me. I literally can't hit him. All my attacks pass through all of his limbs and body. Like he has no fucking hitbox. <laughs> it's laughably bad. The sword might be better. The sword might, because it swings instead of stabs. The sword might be better for this. We could try it. I can't stab the dragon standing in front of me. I literally can't hit him. He's right there. I can't fucking hit him. This is hilariously bad, dude. I don't, what happened there? I don't even know what happened. I can't ro I'm stuck in his foot. Hey, you missed, pal. How did I miss? stuff I can't see and blatant things I should be able to dodge like his dive attack is, is broadcast so easily the second he starts to go come down from the sky I press it oh it's too delayed can't dodge that you gotta guess the timing 
Okay. I'd love to know how I can't hit him. He's directly in front of me. I dodged. It didn't work. How did I fucking miss? I'm directly attacking him and it misses every time, man. It's not even funny, it's stupid. He's a giant fucking dragon. He takes up the entire screen. I'm rolling, I don't even know what's going on. I press roll and he attacks. Right there. Can't hit. Difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I could beat him if my attacks would hit him. My attacks don't hit him. They're passing through constantly. Terrible hitboxes. I'm gonna try the sword. You gotta enjoy the fact that you're fighting the biggest enemies in the game and just passing right through. Love it. I'm just getting hit by shit I can't see. I love it. Fat rolling, by the way. I just realized it. It took you long enough. He interrupted my flame. Uh, I'm doing much better damage, but I'm fat rolling. I gotta take off my pants. I didn't realize the sword was that much heavier than the spear. Well, it didn't work. Now I can't hit him at all. The game will not allow me to strike the giant enemy in front of me. Can't, can't dodge. What? He hit the ground. The hit was already there. I dodged through it. There was an additional hitbox. Even though it was one downward strike, the hitbox stayed on the ground for damage over time and hit me even though it didn't connect. This would be the equivalent Someone goes like this, and then you walk into the hand, and you get hit. Well, alright, fuck it. Oh, whoa! I don't even know what happened. I got comboed, I guess. There was like a, a double hit there. A double hit. It took my whole health bar. <laughs> Do I like the boss? The look of it? Yes. Um, although he just, like, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm just not intimidating. He's another dragon. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they overused the whole dragon motif in the game so much. That even a cool unique dragon like this isn't a big deal for me. It's not really like freaking me out or anything. But normally I look at something like this and be like, oh my god, it's a huge dragon. It's cool. Like I don't feel that way. Because I fought so many dragons on it, you know. So I think I'm doing better with the heavy attacks than I am with the uh light attacks. The light attacks were doing good damage, but the heavy attacks are doing giant 700 plus chunks. So I feel like I should stay with those. You know what I maybe should do? I Right now I have that w Wondrous Physic Flask is staggering. Bonus stagger. I don't think I'm going to stagger this boss. So maybe I should just take that off and change the flask out. Make it have a different effect. Oh, I thought I was past the hand. I was not. You're already dead. Yeah. Didn't work. I'm going to try a different physic. I don't think the stagger physic is doing absolutely nothing. So if I do a second physic, maybe I could like double buff my damage here or something. Because this, this sword does fire damage, right? So I should buff the fire then. That's exactly what I should do. I tried to roll, but I guess I was stuck in the animation. Oh, I thought I was past him. See, I thought I got it under him. Nope. How did that happen? I have no idea. I tried to run through the second and that. Oh, I thought I rolled through it too. I was doing really good there. That was a good run. I, I definitely could have done it. I thought I had rolled through it and it still got me. Did the buffs stay? I wonder if the buffs stay on if you do them before this. 
This is probably a waste. Dude, it takes way too long to get there. No, they stayed on. Sweet. Roll. Oh, yes. The roll actually worked. The roll didn't work that time. I was delayed. It's fucking place. But again, if the fucking camera would be correct and you could see the fight, then you could roll through the shockwave of, of lightning. You can't do it because you can't see the fucking lightning. I somehow missed. I don't know how. The camera is shit. Once again, I can't see the attack, so I can't tap the dodge. There's no way to do it. Every big boss in this game, this is the fight. It's... The boss has all these slow telegraphed attacks, nothing fast, but you can't react to it because of the fucking lag. It's like there's laggy inputs, and then the camera fucking gets stuck, and you can't see the fight. And that's why you lose to the enemy. It has nothing to do with the actual attack patterns of the enemies. Oh, of course that was legit, right? Yeah. I roll to still hit. See, I hate this shit. That time I purposely... I purposely roll to try to avoid the lightning. I roll directly through it as it's coming through my body and the game says, No, there's an extended hitbox that hits after the roll. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was fair. What? How did I get hit right there? The fight starts, I run right up to him, giant attack! Pass through his arm, no damage. <laughs> great job from software. You guys are great. There's nothing I can do right now. He's doing constant lightning and swipes. There's no way to avoid it all. Oh, I can't use my black flame. He's got so many things going on. He's got lightning. He's got fire. He's got a hundred elements. Thank you to Gregor for a $2 tip. He says, this is very entertaining. The panic roll and attack spam is crazy. I'm trying to time the attacks. I really am, but... When you can't see the enemy attacks, there's nothing you can do. If I could see what he was doing, because the camera would zoom out, I would know what to I would be able to avoid his stuff. I can't see his attack. How can I dodge what I can't see? I have to put my eyes closed. What was I supposed to do? He knocked me down with one hit, and then he does a second swipe. It misses, but it has an insane hitbox that hits like a second after he swipes. I'm not even in the attack. The attack's long over, and I still get hit. I dodge forward, didn't come out. There, I was gonna hit him with the black flame. He interrupts the attack with lightning. Nothing I can do about that. I dodge forward. Doesn't come out. Nothing I can do about that. I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Interrupted with lightning. Now a swipe. Nothing I can do about that. Every hit he hits me with it, I can't avoid. There's no way to avoid them. <laughs> Every time he does a quick swipe, as soon as I see the arm start moving, I dodge and never comes out because the game's so delayed. You essentially, what you got to do, you, you play him about 40, 50 times. You'll learn all of his attacks and then you can dodge early for everything. And then you're good. It missed, even though the sword passed through his entire body that was standing in front of me. The game claims it missed. That's pretty much the whole game though. You know what I mean? Like, that's what you're supposed to do. Look at that. Oh, look at my whole health bar, right? I dodged, still hit me anyway. Doubtful. <laughs> Hail whip, can't avoid it, too big. Oh, uh, I'm trying to dodge forward, it doesn't come out. I'm trying to dodge forward. <laughs> Every time I get hit, it's it's not even a, a fucking a situation where you can do anything about it. It's just, oh, here we go. Un undodgeable move. You did dodge, but the game claims you timed it wrong when you did. Uh, can't see what's going on, get hit by bullshit. You know, out of all the bosses in the Dark Souls games, my favorite to this day still is Champion Gundir. Because even though Champion Gundir kicked my ass for about two hours, it was a 100% fair fight. And when I finally beat him, I felt like I accomplished something. Because I learned his pattern. You see? This is just... Oh well. You know. Oh, big deal. Just fucking spam nonsense because you can't see the attacks. You, there's no way you could avoid the attacks. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like any kind of accomplishment when the bosses are set up like this. I can't even see the fight. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I'm stunlocked. That's just fair. Yeah, look! I'm completely stunlocked. I can't even move. 
Wow, what a great boss fight. Like seriously, out of all the all the all the bosses that beat me in Dark Souls, Champion Gunder is the one I I, I didn't I'm not gonna I'm never complain about. It was completely fair. He was fast. He had a great a great move set. I'm stun locked. I can't do it. It's just hit hit hit. You get you're trying to get up. Oh, hit again. Well, what do you want me to do? What do you, what do you want me to do? You already hit me with lightning. I had no opportunity to avoid the second hit of the lightning. There was no way to get out of the way. Of it. I can't do it. I'm still recovering. I can't attack, dodge any attacks. Dodge this. I'm rolling. I'm pressing the fucking dodge button. The game, it's not working. Now lightning hit me out of nowhere. I don't know where that came from. Why did I why did that miss right there? Wow, what a great fight. <laughs> See, I wish I could be impressed. I like how the dragon looks, but the, bo the, I, the fight sucks. The fight was stupid. I didn't like that fight at all. I really didn't. I felt like it was underwhelming. It was supposed to be exciting and epic, and really it didn't feel like that to me because, you know, the boss was shitty. Used to restore the fractured Elden Ring when brandished by the Elden Lord. Formed of the two Hollowbrand half-wheels combined, it'll embed the principle of life within death into or to order. The Golden Order was created by confining death in death, thus this new order will be one of death restored. Sounds to me like that's a good ending. Like you're trying to restore the Elden Ring, right? So it seems like that's what I should have done. Well, yes, but actually no. This is revenge, you witch. And you, you ghoul. This is the wrath of D. Wasn't she already dead? She was already dead. What's weird is we thought D was dead, right? We saw that the, the item you had given to him earlier in the game had murdered him at this round table, but apparently not, right? Oh, she was asleep. She wasn't dead. My brother Darian in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold. Deliver my spirit. Could this be the other brother? It is. The original D died in the in the round table hole, but we gave the armor set to his brother that we found over in the the, the uh, aqueduct. This is his brother. His brother to put on the armor and got revenge. That's what this is. Sadness Aaron says crouching attacks are good for some weapons too. Don't sleep on them. So, what do I think about that dragon Fortisax? I think it looks cool, although admittedly its moveset is similar to other dragons. I think it looks nice, but the boss fight was not very satisfying at all, in my opinion. So I could go this way, and we could explore the city, but there was also the lift the other way. Martin says, don't do this. Go to the Atlas Plateau instead. Darziak says, the gates of shortcut to the capital, but you end up missing some bosses going this way. Okay. Ellipsis says, Volcano Manor first. You're supposed to do Atlas Manor, then Volcano Manor. No, Atlas Plateau, Volcano Manor, then the capital. Wonder what this boss is. <laughs> Oh wait, I can't. They don't let me. What? I'm blocked from doing the boss. Oh, why? You're supposed to fight this boss on the other side. This is how you get into Lindel. You wary of a pauper? What the fuck? What are you talking about? Behold Rump. Must be an NPC that goes there eventually. Merchant ahead. That ain't no merchant. He's targetable. He's an enemy. Behind you! Behind you! Patches would have appeared here if he lived. Oh, that's what they're referencing. Whoa, look at that view. What the hell is that out there? Ah! I'm being told there's tons of secrets in the manor. But I hear a bug, but I don't see it. I hear it, you hear it? I can definitely hear the ding, ding, ding. Is that it right there? Oh, I think it disappeared. Oh, it's an invisible! Oh, it's gonna be one of the pain in the asses to get, I bet. Jeez. 
got to be. I got it. Martin says you love to faith and the seal quite a bit. I suggest you start using some of the offensive spells. You'll need them from now on. You're right. I bet the I bet the fucking spells are good now. I haven't tried them in a while. Lord Rikard, if this putrid field of death is what your blasphemy would bring, then I no longer abide. No one can. I have no idea who Lord Rikard is. Rikard is one of the shard bearers? He is? No huh? I couldn't even see this guy. Rikard is shown as the intro to the game. I, I, that was like a month ago. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember that shit. Which one is the all-knowing? The guy in the all-knowing is just like laying in a pile of ears or some shit. I think he's- that's the guy who sounds like he's at the Capitol. I don't know who the hell right it is. Oh shit! Another one of these?! Really?! Yep, that's me. Hey bro, we heard you like reused bosses. going to eat this entire breakfast. Oh, I couldn't see. It's very cheesy. I'll forewarn everyone. Martin says, you can get an OP spell for your build from Fortis Saxe's Remembrance. Check it out. If you go back to the manor, you can start the quest for Lady Tannin. Darjeex says there's probably like five more of those in the fucking game, so kind of get used to it. You're too slow. You're annoying, bitch. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. Come on now! Golden Vow Spell. Darzyx says Golden Vow is probably a good, a good spell to use before bosses. Martin says it's an amazing buff, this Golden Vow Spell, and you can stack it with Give Me Strength. It'll be, you know, really good. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Oh my god. Xi Jinping tipped me a dollar for these ladder next to all the coffin enemies. What coffin enemies? I have no idea what you're talking about. Those are robots. Are you, are you calling those coffin egg bolsing? Yes, people are saying there's an optional boss over here. What the fuck? The robot hit me. I guess this is it. Get over here! Okay. Ow. Uh, no, Dark Side Chris. I don't even know what Falling Star Beast is. So I guess that's a no. I don't think I fought that. Or maybe I did. Maybe I actually did. And I just don't know what it's called. Chat Effects says you fought one in the Zelia Tunnels. It's a Berserk Stone Bowl. Incredibly annoying. Oh, I did fight one in the Optional Tunnel. You're absolutely right. I didn't know that's what it was called. I didn't know it was called the Falling Star Beast. It better not be a giant wolf. I already fought that a hundred times. Why is it always mushroom? Well, how many of them are there? Whole pack. Well, this looks interesting. It looks like a whole new thing. The fuck is this now? Oh my god. Another optional dungeon you guys led me to? You seriously led me to another one? Well, let me get a waypoint. I don't know if I want to do this right now. Wrong way. How is this the wrong way? It's right in front of me. This is a full dungeon. I don't want to do this. Yeah, I don't have time. What the fuck? We'll do it later. There's nothing else here, guys. This is all dead end. I don't know where you want me to go. There's nothing else here. A few inches later. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what you're telling me to do. There's nothing over here. It's a dead end. Unless you know something that I don't, there's nothing here. There's a bridge across from the wooden tower. No, there's not. Look. There's no bridge. 
No. Wrong. Oh, are you talking about there? Oh, that's different. Oh, okay. You're talking about... I thought you meant a bridge from the tower itself. Oh, okay. I can't move. I love it. I'm locked in place. Watch this shit. Block that, you son of a bitch. Fuck you! What the hell? Oh, what the fuck? Do I even want to ask what the fuck that was? There's a grease point up here across a small bridge to the left. Oh, welcome, dear customer. I knew I could do it. Sounds like there's a vendor or a fake vendor, right? Excuse me? One eternity later. Madara's got you can go back and drop down to the vendor. Eventually. Look. This was the other ladder, wasn't it? No vendor here. I don't get it. Huh? Huh? The vendor is down that ladder? Oh. How are you supposed to know anything in this fucking game? <laughs> Seriously. How would you know? He is down the ladder. You're right. He is. I'm afraid of going to prison. They now know my crimes. Oh, welcome, dear customer. Well, that was genius. Full grown fallen star beast. Why can't I cast a spell? Why can't I? Oh. Oh, that was great. Oh, shit. We go again. I didn't. I didn't jump. I never press jump. What the fuck? Fucking know that I had fat rolls, so I can't move. I'll never beat him if I can't move. Oh, wrong one. Nowhere 
turn your own. Right. I rolled, didn't come out. Rolled, didn't come out. because I couldn't see. I knew what I was doing. I literally knew what I was doing. I died because I couldn't see. The camera fucks me again. knocked me down. I can't even get up. Great. Great. A great start. I had him. He's beaten easily. Then the game decides it's going to do unstoppable, undodgeable attacks at the end. I don't care. I really don't care. I'll do it tomorrow. Well, I'll do it actually Monday. I just don't care. I'm already go I already went late because my system crashed earlier. Yeah, it's not a tough fight. It's actually, once again, it's not a tough fight at all. It's an easy fight. It's just annoying fucking attack patterns, shit missing for no fucking reason, bad responsiveness of the game, I don't care. But sadly, we didn't really have enough time for me to focus on it and try to beat it legit. I was busily trying to like rush through it, and it just didn't work out as a thing to rush through, just being honest here. I definitely need to take my time with it if I'm going to beat it, which I'm going to do today. It's the first thing I'm going to be doing. Still hit me. Ridiculous hitbox. It really is a ridiculous hitbox on that move. Wow, the range on the stupid rocks. <laughs> That's so silly. The rock hits you from that far. Now he's not doing anything. Look at this. I somehow miss. You gotta love that he's magically dodging the giant hits. You gotta love it. Here we go. I can't, I can't hit the giant enemy in front of me. It's laughably bad. Of course you do. It hits after the fact. Yeah, the hitbox is terrible. Why is it hitting after the fact? The attack's already out, and it still hits me. I'll try again. I'm gonna get him in a few tries and stop. I'm rusty. I don't remember the attack patterns from last time. I'm gonna go get my souls first. Okay. Can't see him. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Boss has really stupid hitboxes. Yeah, see, I can't hit him, but he can hit me. What I need to do is get above him. Then I can hit him, but if I'm under him, all my hit moves will dot will whiff. Can that hit me? It didn't even touch me. It still hit me. 
Why are they? Why in the holy hell are the hitboxes so stupid? I'm so far away. I'm, I'm running completely the other direction. It still hits me. I keep having this nagging feeling that I've forgotten something. Hey, if you forgot it, it probably wasn't all that important. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Why? My sword is not out. <laughs> Great. I seriously can't hit him. I'm standing directly next to him and I can't hit him. Oh, I didn't know there was a second hit. This fight, 100%, it's the hitboxes are really stupidly broken to the point where he has such ridiculous range and you can never hit him. They gave him a very small, narrow, like, hurt box, but his hitboxes on all his moves are giant sweeping area of effect, so you are at monstrous disadvantage at every moment of this fight. Still hit me for no good reason. A lot of whiffing, damn. From that range, the rock hit me. Right. I'm. Are you shitting me? You saw far away I was from it, and it still hit. Whiff. That's the slow tail of the pain in the ass to dodge. In regards to these falling star creatures, take a look at this guy. Remembrance of Astol, natural born of the void hewn into the Erd Tree. This was the ginormous alien that we fought. This is a malformed star born of the lightless void far away. Once destroyed an eternal city and took away their sky, an falling star of Hill Ill Omen. You may wonder, what does it have to do with what we just did? Falling star. Remember this boss? It had giant pinchers on its head. We just fought the falling star beast that had giant pinchers on its head. This is a high int creature intelligence, meaning sorceries based on glintstone. And if you didn't notice, the weapon of this creature I just killed has an int requirement. So basically, yes, what this game is saying in its lore is that all these falling star beasts are aliens. They came from somewhere outside of the planet. We don't know if we're on Earth, but another planet. At one point, they came down here and they live with the other creatures from this planet, but they're not from here. They all have these big pinchers, whether it's a falling star beast that runs like a bull, whether it's Astol, which was kind of humanoid and casting magic. They're all these weird, deformed, contorted creatures with pinchers on their heads. They're all based on magic. They all have intelligence requirements for their spells, their weapons that you get from them. And apparently it's all glintstone, which explains why in the underground caverns you have these stars in the sky that aren't really stars. Those are supposed to be glintstone. So all the magic is alien technology, basically. It's not magic at all. It's them utilizing the power of the aliens that came to Earth. But basically, yeah, every falling star creature is an alien. How crazy is that? No, it's not from a guide. I'm just surmising this from the game itself. It certainly seems like that's what they're going for. No, I mean, am I mistaken? It seems like that's the case. And like I said, if you follow this game, you'll notice it's literally 100% shit that they lifted from their other franchises. They've already had aliens in Bloodborne. So it makes sense that it's aliens in Elden Ring. Jeff Goldblum says this boss is here before Radon dies. He cannot be linked to Natural Born since he is there after Radon. Huh? What does that mean? Just because you can only get access to Natural Born after Radon dies, has nothing to do with it. Almost no reward. It was like 20,000. Compared to the other ones I've done, that was like a non-existent reward. Cerulean Hidden Tear eliminates all FP consumption in the Miss Visit. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 It eliminates FP consumption in the Mixed Physic, but the f Mixed Physic doesn't use your FP. I'm a little confused about the wording in that one. The resulting concoction eliminates all FP consumption. This effect is only brief. Oh, so it's, it's basically... You chug this, bloop, okay, good, and 
then you can use spells and shit for a very limited time with no FP consumption. Gotcha. I mean, I could get both if I duplicate the stole, right? I don't know if either is good. What I'm concerned about is very high FP use, which it is. This is 64, this is 46. So basically, I could cast each once. <laughs> and then I'd have to restore my FP because I only have 84 FP. Darcy X, I feel like this, these spells would be more useful in PvP. Likely you're right. Key ahead. Seek the campsite. I'm right up here, above you. Can't hit him. Thanks for conveniently landing. You fuck. I love whiffing. You killed my... Oh, no, you didn't. Tell me you didn't just fucking do that to my fucking horse! Darcy X says if you come back here at night, there's a night cavalry optional boss on the road instead of that guy patrolling. People are saying just fight the night cavalry now. Well, if I'm gonna do that, let me level up so I don't waste my souls if I get... Still a chore to do this. It was always a chore to do this in any Souls or Bloodborne game, and now it's a chore to do it in this one, too. Let's see here. I'm short by 100. See, for now, my damage output is really good, so I actually don't want to waste leveling on that. I'm thinking, just keep doing Endurance, so that way I can wear full armor sets, even with the heavy sword. And I'm thinking, later on, it's going to pay off because not only increased stamina, but someone actually told me there's builds you could dual wield. Which I didn't know you could do that just by doing your endurance. So I think I might keep doing endurance for a while and see if I can eventually do a wheel. Don't see him. This is nighttime, right? Oh, there he is. He's way down the road. Okay, watch this. That was a big fail, actually. <laughs> What happened? Oh, uh, you saw what happened, right? I got stuck on nothing. I seriously can't move. I got stuck on absolutely nothing. There was nothing in my path. No rocks, and the enemies weren't there, and the horse just stopped walking. Completely stupid. Completely stupid. The horse just got, like, stuck on an invisible wall and refused to move. That was dumb as fuck. That was so dumb. Getting hit by the little guys, and I can't walk past them because there's an invisible wall. It's really stupid physics. Yeah, there's nine of those. Someone just said another reused boss asset. Yeah, they have nine of those in the game, and it's I guess it's supposed to be a reference to the nine ring wraiths of uh, 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 Lord of the Rings. Not gonna happen. What? You're gonna tell me the dude standing stationary with a torch beat the guy coming forward and jousted? He, look at this. Uh, does From Software understand anything about physics? The stationary dude with a torch beats the person charging straight forward with them with a spear. Okay, FromSoft, whatever you fuckers say. People are, oh, well, this game isn't realistic. There's magic and shit. Okay, I understand that, but yet there's rule sets in the game that are realistic. You have to adhere to them. The game does not. That's what I, I think is so ridiculous about this fucking series is there's all these rules you have to adhere to, but, but only you. <laughs> Whenever the, whenever the fucking enemies want to do shit, it's like every possible thing is in their favor. It makes absolutely no fucking sense either. Yeah, she's going to tell me a dude who's standing in the middle of the road with a torch in his hand literally just goes, eh, like this. And I'm charging towards him maximum speed with a spear, stabbing, piercing. Oh, well, my torch stopped it. What the fuck are you talking about, you fucking idiot? How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? I did not know that that was a fall like that because I couldn't see because it was nighttime. Exactly, Swaggins. He says the worst part is that enemies hit you through walls and you just bounce off. Yeah, bullshit. Again, I know that people love this game. I, I really enjoy it too. Why can't we at this point in history demand that FromSoft make a game engine that's fair and makes fucking sense? Why do we endlessly give them passes for everything? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want a game where they get away with so much bullshit. I just don't. Make it fair. Make the engine make sense. At least make it equivalent. Not, it's so ridiculously one-sided every enemy magically passes through every wall but then when you go to the wall you bounce off and you can't ever hit anyone like how is this just common sense shit that could be dramatically improving the game and they don't care
Because people kiss their fucking ass so hard, they don't feel like they ever have to improve anything. Like, just stop sucking the FromSoft butt, you know? I don't mind you, you liking the game and being a fanboy about it, but man, when you refuse to acknowledge that there's any room for improvement, that's when th things will never, ever get better. And that's just a terrible way to go through life, in my opinion. Every hit hits me in a row. What an epic fight. <laughs> Completely non non epic. I wonder if I use my special ability if I like destroy him. It's not even greed, is I know I can steamroll him. He's easy. He doesn't do any damage except for the fact that he wants to hit me four times in a row with a combo and I can't avoid it. <laughs> so dumb. Of course he hits me. Sideways didn't come out. What? Why can't I dodge anything now? Now the dodges don't work. Uh huh? Mm, suspicious. <laughs> it's so stupid. It really is stupid. Dodge doesn't come out. I press the button. Monster delay. So easy, easy boss when he doesn't have any of that magic bullshit. He's actually quite easy. He's bad attack is super easy to dodge. Except the dodge doesn't come out when I press the button. I love how I'm almost one-shotting everything. I get right to the point where they have zero health and they still hold out and survive after the first hit. Pretty annoying. Where am I right now? This is the Erd Tree Gazing Hill. Why do they call it that? What Erd Tree are you gazing at? There's like not even an Erd Tree close by. The closest Erd Tree is way the fuck up there or over here, so. I don't know. <laughs> Kind of a weird, maybe a misnomer. How do I scale this goddamn thing? You can't. This is fucking stupid. You can't do it from here. If you want to get to the actual tower where there's something there, you have to go from another part of the map, right? And drop down. Later. I think I can make the jump. Fuck this. All right, I'm just gonna give up on this. This is obviously stupid. It's really dumb. There's something up there, but you can't reach it unless you come from the entrance and come all the way west instead of trying to come from the under under area like I am. So, I'm not gonna be able to do this right now. I could do it later. How did that even make sense? I was standing on something and then it took it away. Fuck this. Yeah, I don't care. Wow. Okay. I wasn't ready for this. It looks like the same fight. It's the Fortisax fight. It is the Fortisax fight, isn't it? I know how to win that. It is Fortisax. Oh, see. He ran away? What on earth? So that was, it's Fortisax, but his name was Lannisax or something? It's the same fight, only he's not corrupted by death. 
And I was doing way more damage to him, by the way. That was cool, but I wonder how I get back to that fight. How do I fight him again? It's his brother. It's literally his brother. First of all, says you'll run into him again later on. In this region? Oh, you can fight him close to the Erd Tree City. I don't even know what that is. You mean the capital city, or is there another city? You got a big axe, you son of a bitch. You think you're a big boy? Look at this. I guess technically you are a big boy. You can tank it out, huh? He's a, t a tankish skeleton, the first one I've met. Most of them are just pushovers. So I guess it's not directly under the capital. There's a different area under the capital. Var is the guy who wanted you to, you to invade earlier. I never bothered with it. So you're saying I can do it via that? So I guess you can invade to continue Var's quest line, or you can skip that quest. There's an alternative way to find the area, but you can't complete this quest unless you actually finally invade. I have a health nerf. What the frick? I never, I never debuffed my, or never took off the nerf. Yeah. Raptor black feathers. A skeletal mask. Where is it? Oh, wait. Hold on. Enough of this. Sort. It won't let me sort? You can't sort this inventory for some reason. It seriously won't let me sort it. Yeah. I wanted to sort the helmets. They won't let me. You dicks. So where's the fucking thing? Skeletal mask. The Raptor Black Feathers. Rogue crafted with the Black Feathers of a Bird of Prey worn by the Assassins of Ravenmount. Strengthens your jump attacks. Well, that's interesting. Mamma mia. Wow, poise would go down by like 20. But it would, imp it would improve my jump attacks. A boss. Our first boss. They're all saying weak foe ahead. Yeah, is it a wimpy boss? There's two ways to go into the boss room? You don't understand. That's weird. First time I've encountered this. You guys want me to summon the Mimic here just for fun? Let's see what the boss is. Necromancer Garrus? Who the fuck? Look at this idiot. Yeah, fuck this guy here. Non Swagon says, just for the hell of it, why don't you try your Mimic tier on, a, on the boss? Because this is a cave fodder boss that's probably going to be easy anyway. He says, just summon it and see if this fucking Mimic tier will solo the boss. I mean, I could if you guys want me to. If it really is a throwaway reused boss, I'm okay with that. My tier that took like 50% of his health off and barely hit him. So I guess what they did is they nerfed the AI. It didn't heal. You notice that? It never healed at all. So I guess maybe your mimic tier just doesn't heal ever. Um, and also, he wasn't hitting for a lot of damage either. They must have totally nerfed him. Swagon says the mimic tier pre-nerf would almost never die during any fight. That's how much it healed, and it would tank so many hits. Yeah, I didn't upgrade it. That's right. I didn't upgrade the, any, any summons. I didn't upgrade the mimic tier or nothing because I'm not using them. So that was an un completely under under leveled mimic tier did like 50% damage to that boss. <laughs> completely ridiculous. Wow, that was super easy. Oh. So how do I tell where he is? Gotta go in the water, probably see his footsteps. Oh, what? How do you get... That's nonsense. They let you, he lets you... Basically, he gets backstabs for no reason. He doesn't earn them. He just gets them. So what is it called? The Hidden Veil? Why can't I sort by most recent? This is stupid. I can't find it now. What's the Hidden Oh, wait. I'm being dumb. Where's the Hidden Veil? It's not here. Wait a minute. Is it something else? Is it not a piece of clothing? Yes. Here it is. Oh, you want to spit fire, huh? Oh, it's Kappa Demon. Kappa Demon, excuse me. I call him Kappa Demon. It's the Kappa Demon. Omen Killer Robe and the Omen Killer Long Gloves and the Omen Killer Boots. I didn't get the mask, but that's the Omen Killer set. It's Kappa Demon from Dark Souls 1. I ain't afraid of no poison. Biatch, now flames me flame. Flames me phlegm, I just said. I actually just said, claims me phlegm. A shitty nascent butterfly. Have I tried using Staff of the Avatar? I have not. What is Staff of the Avatar? Oh, that's the that's the big club I got from the Erd Tree Avatar, isn't it? 
Yeah, I didn't I didn't try it because I, I would have to level it and I didn't level it up so I, I haven't tried it yet. The Unsightly Catacombs. Another optional freaking dungeon. So would you like me to just skip all the content of the game then? Is that what you would like? Skip, 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 All right, boss time already. This will be a really fucking quick one, huh? Do we have a pair? Another pair? Seriously? All right, here's what we're gonna do. The game wants to be a fucking stupid shit and give me a pair of enemies, right? What? What? Are they protected from magic? I think they're protected from magic. Those force fields. Chien Berserk says, Summons as a reward is pretty useless for you, sadly. It's disappointing until they made it an integral part of the game. Right, like, I don't really care about the summons. I'm, I'm challenging myself to beat the bosses legit. With a couple exceptions, like that one where I wanted to see what would happen. And it literally kicked its ass, but, uh... Yeah, pretty much I'm not going to be using that stuff. You're right, so it is kind of a waste for me. This perfumer had some kind of a spell that absorbed hits. And so they absorbed my initial hits. I charged everything up and I wanted to hit it with the giant spear spell or, or a weapon art. And they fucking absorbed the hits and negated them. But after that, that was the end of that shit. Reverse 750 says, I know you're holding on to the boss souls because I guess you typically do that in the, these games. He says, however, understand that the longer you hold on to them, the less useful they'll be. Yeah, I, I don't think I really need the, the souls though. You know what I mean? Like, do I really need to be using my boss souls right now? Oh yeah, Jeff Goldblum says it's easily worth it to use the chess piece you got that does jump attack damage, increase strong armor, some a noob trap. Sacrificing the protection is worth it for an increase. And I mean, you're right. None of them look very good. None of them give a buff. The skull helmet heals only when your HP is low. Are you kidding me? There's another one of these fucking things? You gotta be joking. Did I just walk past Millicent? I don't know, who's Millicent? Oh, Millicent's for that quest line, right? The one who was poisoned? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Trace your steps. She was near the edge of the cliff. She was. Oh, uh, I don't know. I came up right near the statue. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I never saw her when I was on that statue. That's all I saw. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. NPC. That's certainly not an NPC. Pretty interesting NPC. Go back down towards the grease on my left. Uh, what? No. Ah. To progress your quest, you need to visit that area to the right of the volcano area with the green surrounding it. Cool. I want to do that. Just right here. I definitely want to do that. Stormhawk feathers. I don't know what those are. What? I missed completely. Wow, I can't fucking hit the guy. That's stupid. So it said first off this way, then an underground tomb. I guess I'm supposed to go down here. It looks like it, right? Oh, wait! Okay, hold on. There's something here, too. So we got a tomb here, and then we go down there, and there's more down there. The Windham Catacombs. Another one I'm just gonna run through, turbo through. Booty says, you seem to be so over the game already. I'm not over it. Like, there's good parts about it. I'm definitely enjoying some of the exploration and, and uniqueness of it, but man, they reuse the same shit so much, it's just getting, you know, ridiculous. Do you really want to redo the same fucking thing a million times? There was a higher ledge I could have gone to. Did you see that? That's it? That's dumb. All that was there was a single thing. Stupid. What the- 
Now, how did that miss? Look at this bullshit. I miss all my attacks for no good reason. They all just pass through their bodies. And I can't hit anyone. It's completely stupid. The dumbest fucking thing. So I'm just not gonna fight anything. Oh. I'm just gonna run through. It's stupid. It's wasting my time to fight these little idiots. Especially when the hit detection is so poor in the game that I have to deal with that dumb shit. Stupid shit. Right, I'm not even in the path. It'll probably be a waste of a stone sword key, but I'll use it anyway. Lightning Scorpion Charm. I had Scorpion Charm, which was just lightning attack. This is raises holy attack but lowers damage negation. So if I equip that, buff my my holy. But then I'm gonna take more damage. No, that was a complete waste. As I expected. What? Hit. That hit. This is the gate I was on the other side of before. So I'm on the right track. I just still don't see the switch for the boss room. I don't know where to go. I seem to be locked down here now. I don't see a way out. <laughs> it doesn't open. Uh... Oh, shit. Okay. The holy damage increase can be massive. You should check out how much it increases your damage. It doesn't fucking tell you. It doesn't tell you your increase, see? All this is holy attack power. It doesn't tell you how much it buffs it, so there's no point. It's a 12% damage increase. That's not very good. <laughs> That's not very good at all in the scheme of things. Again, for some reason, poking weapons miss this particular enemy type. It is so stupid. What happened? Where'd my health go? The fuck? I can't see. The camera's glitched out. Sure. Being fucking stupid, stuck in the fucking wall. Of course. Of course! <laughs> I'm in danger! There's nothing I can do. The camera's all fucked up. He's invincible to the stab of the CLA. Look. It's so dumb. Wow, that was really fun and fair, wasn't it? The camera fucks me because the camera keeps rotating into the wall. I can't see what's going on. I can't fight the enemies in the room because of it. Wow. What a well-designed fucking dungeon, huh? Yeah, really well fucking designed. Fucking idiots. I'm not rolling. I never roll. I, ne I seriously never roll. fucking game. All right, now I got all the fucking way back to the entrance. Super boring. Of course. It still hit me even though I rolled. Oh my god, it's so boring. These dungeons suck now. They really do. They're so boring now. There's like no point to doing them. The rewards are terrible. The bosses suck. They're just annoying dungeons. At one point there was a point. Now there's none at all. Where's the fucking boss door? I think forever. You gotta be kidding me. Another one? Hey, seriously, that was the boss. What the fuck? Terrible. 
They reuse the same boss another time. He added Gamer31 to the Super Genesis. Go to Kale. There's a pig pot. That's a good item in the game. Pig pot? What the heck? I'm sure we'll get there eventually. I don't know where Kale is. I don't know. No, it's not on the map, so we're not there yet. Yeah, another giant reused. Oh, yeah. I know about that big pot. It's that big pot at the Coliseum, right? Is that what he's talking about? Yes! Wow. Maybe. Old Altus Tunnel takes us underneath Mount... Whatever this is called. Mount Gaelic? <laughs> Mount Gelmir. Oh, yeah, it's Mount Gaelic. M Mount Saltlick. Is this a... Cra this might, might be a crafting cave? I didn't intend to come... It is the crafting cave. I didn't even know that's where we were. We're at the crafting cave, so we should find crafting items here. Good. I should say smoothing items, actually. Fuji says, my problem with the playthrough is you did the high-level stuff first because the trolls wanted to see you fail, but now you're too high level for everything else. In truth, this is not correct, Bootsy, just so you know. From what I'm gonna understand, I don't know, because I didn't spoil myself. This game is, this is a problem with the design of the game. Essentially, this game doesn't have a good middle. There's no good middle at all. If you want to do everything in the game, at one point you hit a wall where everything's easy, and at the end of the game, apparently the game kicks your ass again. So, the beginning can be tough, and challenging. Then the middle gets quite easy as you do the open world exploration, you start to do all the stuff in the world, and then the end becomes challenging again. That's what people seem to be telling me, and that, that really there's no one who had a good middle to play of the playthrough at all. Everyone who likes to explore and shit just didn't like the middle because it was too easy. Essentially, the middle is padded. The middle has a ton of optional shit to do. Of course I meant. So yeah, so the thing is, there's no order to play the game, and most people end up wandering around exploring. Next thing you know, you did stuff that it was probably too high level for you, and now you're over leveled for other stuff. And there really is no way to do it all the content and not be over leveled for some of it. So for me, I opted to do the Legacy Dungeon side content that was all underground. It was quite fun and neat, right? It was interesting. And now I'm going to end up being over leveled for stuff, and there's no way to, to stop that. The game was designed that way. I guess the only way to not at some point in the game be over leveled would be to skip a bunch of shit. Big Daddy Dubs, you're literally the only person on this planet who I heard say that. He says, no, for him, the middle of the game exploration was the best. I've heard the opposite. I've heard the middle of the game exploration is actually, it's underwhelming because here you are trying to play the game. You're, you're, no matter what you do or what direction you go, you're going to end up being over leveled for some of it because there's just so much of it. I guess that's, that is what you call a victim of so much, of so much content, right? See, that's what I mean, like, so this game, a ton of content, huge value for your buck, but if you do all the content, now you, you've overleveled for half the game. Or you could skip all the content, but then you, you cheated yourself out of the content of the game, so what do you do? I don't know if there really is an optimal, optimal answer for this. It kind of seems to me like it's just going to be something everyone's going to have to come across when they play, and you, every person will handle it differently. I like doing all the content. I'm having fun with all the exploration, all the optional stuff, admittedly. The, like, some of these dungeons that are the little mini dungeons are kind of boring at this point because I've kind of been there, done that, seen it all, and there's nothing very challenging in any of them. See, like this right now. Watch this be piss easy. Oh my lord! Got her. A rapier and a mask and a robe. Well, that sucked ass. What was I supposed to do there? Stupid dick. They did it again. Every time I sit down at one of these, I'm under I'm under it by like a hundred fucking runes. It's ridiculous. Let's check out the items that I had gotten from that woman summon thing in the in the lake. I don't know what that was. Scarlet Rot's an old legend of which Male Marai of the Shaded Castle was a private believer. Indeed, he eventually found his own personal goddess. Interesting. Will we be fighting this guy, Marley Marai? You already did me. Can I summon my horse in here to get across all this poison? Or am I just gonna fucking have to be poisoned? Right? There is no horse. I'm just gonna have to be poisoned. Well, it ain't that big of a deal. Poison kind of stupid in this game. Oh, can I please hit the fucker standing in front of me? Swaggins asks, why do you think there's a stigma in regards to not doing all the content before the credits roll? Doing optional areas after the credits yields the same experience? 
I don't know, because I guess you kind of feel like it's supposed to be part of the actual main game experience. Like, I guess if there was a dungeon that literally could not be played till the main story was beaten, that's one thing. But I guess there's some people who are under the impression that, like, if you don't do all the content before the credits roll, that's content that was supposed to be part of the main story experience, and you missed out on what, what the game was to be. You turboed through or something? I mean, I don't know. You have to ask the individuals who say stuff like that. That would be my assumption. Why would you do that? There's an item behind the flower, but I don't know if it's what I'm going for. It's fine. It's just rot. I can cure that too. It's not a huge deal. If I can get unstuck here, that is. So what did I get? I used an item. I don't even know what it was. I don't think there's anything really over here. Oh, really? It seems like a waste. Come all the way over here just to fuck around with nothing on the ground. It's just flowers, right? I didn't get anything good out of that. That's fucked you, stupid idiot. You spit all over me, I don't care. I think I got a somber smoothing stone that was a pretty high level. I, I don't I couldn't really tell. But I think it was like a level eight or something like that, so that's good if that's what it was. This seems like a slow burn dungeon, and what I mean by that is there's nothing too overly challenging, but you could keep getting the stupid poison buildup, which is super annoying. Huh? How do you swing and miss both zombies directly in front of you with a giant spear? It's re remarkably stupid. Be wary of the right. Look at that. Thank you for that. That was a really helpful message right there. What a tough guy. Valkyrie pro prosthesis? It's an item. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Prosthesis, M Millicent doesn't have an arm. Ha ha ha. Golden prosthesis once used by the one-armed Valkyrie, a masterwork of craftsmanship with practice and skill it can be used as a proficiently as a real arm. When Malay Marai, Lord of the Shady Castle, embraced this prosthesis, he claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. So I think you give this to Millicent to continue her quest line. She was talking about missing her arm. No one's saying shit in the chat. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just you know, guessing. Das Boshi says you're paying way more to, attention to the story than I did. I, I got too lost. See, I, I, I'll be, I'll have very, a very big admittance here. I actually enjoy figuring out the lore. I actually do. Even though a lot of it's unclear and meant to be like guessed, I like the lore of the Elden Ring slash FromSoft, Dark Souls, whatever you want to say, game. So I like to figure this out. Okay, Melissa doesn't have an arm. She literally just said when we ran into her, man, my journey is tough because I only have one arm. And then I find a prosthetic arm. Obviously, you're probably supposed to give it to her. It's so fucking dark, man. I can't see. Teleport. Wow, that's really stupid. Alright, you wanna fuck around? We can fuck around. It's not really a boss fight, but essentially they're they're treating it as such, so fuck them. I can play this game too. Incredibly stupid. He he literally hit about 17, 18 times in a row. How am I supposed to get out of the way? Can't move, I'm gonna die, yep. That that attack is complete bullshit. There's nothing you can do about it. Once he enables it, you have to get out of his range, or else he just constantly hits you. It's like, wow, you really beat me there with your amazing amounts of fair challenge. <laughs> okay. That was completely, it's a completely stupid attack. What exactly do you expect me to do? He goes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I can't dodge that. I can't dodge that, you fucking idiot. Fucking stupid game. Can't see. We're missing You had to throw. No! How did I miss? I roll. I can't move. Again, look, I can't even move where I want. The game fucked me against the wall. I can't fucking move. If only 
I can move. I can't. I can't move out of his way. It will not allow me to. I can't. <laughs> He's directly in front of me. Can't hit him. What an elusive enemy. Oh, he's so tough. No, they made an enemy that literally you can't hit him. His hitbox is tiny. And he stun locks you with his attacks. So how do I fucking fight him then, you dumb shits? Oh, terrible. It's like every, again, everything in the game has to be against you. Every odd is against you. As we cheat to do this fucking complete nonsense. Like, okay, dude. Wow, what a really tough enemy, right? There's nothing challenging about that besides... You made a build that's completely fucking broken and unfair. Fucking dumb shit. Das Boja said, I, I debate if that's the worst enemy in the game or the or the prawn that shoots the webs. And Darjack actually said, this enemy is one of the worst enemies in the game. It is. It's stupid. It's fast as shit. It tanks every hit out. It fucking hits you for its stun lock hits. They're like, dude, what are you talking about? How is this fair? It's not even fun. It's stupidity. <laughs> Of course it hits me. Of course it does. Uh, what's going on? I can't attack. I literally can't attack. He can stab me seven times through the statue. The game won't even allow me to attack when, I, when I'm open. The game says, oh, the statue's in the way. You can't attack. Even though he's just right through the statue. And again, I enjoy the game. I really do. But I call it out for its bullshit. The game is full of bullshit. That could easily, easily be improved if they cared. They don't care because they have such an installed fan base of fucking people who are dumb and give them a pass on everything. They're never going to improve this combat engine. It will forever be stupid. Wow, what a tough enemy when I can actually hit him, huh? Oh, look at this guy. This guy looks fancy. I'm just gonna have to stagger him a bunch. Like this. Oh, look at that ass. Oh, these two at two dumb assholes. Old firefly. Wow. I do okay, I do find it a little annoying that. Sometimes you'll find a crafting item like a gold firefly and it looks like something in the environment. So you know it's going to be a crafting item. Then other times they literally do their best to make it look like something good. A glowing item in the environment. Just for you to get fucked when it's nothing good. Like they purposely try to annoy you like that. Oh! He's impaling me through the wall! I'm not even mad. It's amazing. Uh, what was that? This game is fucking stupid. He impaled me through the wall, did a whole animation through the wall, and then a pack of dogs bite me when I'm knocked down from his attack animation. It's so stupid. It's so fucking dumb. Fuck this. I'm out of time. I'm just gonna run through everything and see if I can get to the boss. I don't care. I really don't care. When, when the game is set up to be that stupid, you don't care. Oh. I can literally do an impaling animation through the wall. How about this? Fuck you, FromSoft. No, really, fuck you. You guys are lazy. It's just, that's the truth of the matter. You're just lazy. You don't want to make a fair game anymore. You just want to make... Look at this! I can't move at all! I literally can't move. Look, I can't, I can't even move the camera. Look! <laughs> FromSoft is, has become lazy, is what it is. They wanted to make a game that was giant. But when they did that, it lost its polish. And now what they've done is they set up all this bullshit to the point where it's not fun to have to deal with it. Do I want to deal with a guy who can impale me through a wall? Do I want to deal with the fact that the guy somehow magically pins me and I can't even move? The camera's stuck in the wall. I'm stuck. Like, is this garbage? It's garbage gameplay. It's not fun. It's not smart. It's not well-designed gameplay in any way, shape, or form. It's lazy gameplay is what it is. And I appreciate, when the game works, man, do I appreciate when this game works. It's awesome. But man, are there a lot of shortcomings to this game. Really lazily done things that could have been done way better if they had put more effort in instead of worrying about the giant open world and the 400th optional boring dungeon. They could have put way more effort into unique stuff.
Again, I like the game. And the thing is, people, people get, you know, oh, he doesn't like it. No, I like it. Overall, but it's just, there's so many instances where the game could be much better. And I'm tired of giving these guys a pass for that, you know? They don't deserve the pass. Do you remember me? Oh, it's the, it's the fucking guy that you give the optional fight against at, uh, yeah. At the church. Elmer of the Briar. Is that actually supposed to be the boss who you fight at those optional fights at, at, uh, to get the bell item? The bell fucking thing for the vendor? It might be, right? This is the true version of him? Okay. Did we beat the whole dungeon? I actually don't know if that's the end of it or if there's any more to do. It seems like we beat the whole thing. I'm done with this area. That's it. Wow.